you know, they've shown how good they are without the ball, definitely defensively, uh, very strong, so they're going to be a tough nut to crack. Um, I imagine that their confidence levels will be, you know, very much buoyed after uh, the last win, especially against Ireland. Um, you know, if they can win uh, with that amount of possession and territory, then I'm sure that they'll be, be looking to build on that. Um, and yeah, they've had two weeks to prepare. Um, they've had a good look at us, obviously, as well. So it's going to be a big challenge for us. Um, you know, Murrayfield's never an easy easy place to come. Um, and they're on a bit of a roll, you know, create a bit of history with regards to, you know, winning three games in the championship or, or three in the bounce as well. So um, it's going to be tough for us now. Tomorrow's going to be full and be a fantastic atmosphere there. And as Robin said, Scotland on the back of a couple of good wins. So, um, no, I think the boys will be looking forward to it. Um, they like full stadiums, they like good atmospheres and uh, they're expecting a tough game tomorrow. It's always nice to win games and, and you know express the way you play and um, and certainly that you know the Welsh way if you like you know we do like to play with ball in hand but uh, I suppose when you come down to it at the end of the day it's all about winning <laughs> it doesn't matter how you win uh, whether it's three 0 um, I know it's not great for spectators but the reality is it's what it's all about the test level and um, you know we've played some good rugby in amongst you know <clears throat> being tough games in the last two games that we played as well but we won and I think that's what it's all about considering coming off where we come off in terms of eight defeats on the bounce uh, just losing by small margins um, you know test test level is uh, is very thin margins and uh, it can go either way and obviously for us the last two games has gone our way I think both teams are building up a little bit of momentum um, based on based on the, the last two results really and uh, you know looking ahead to the, to the next two games so um, it could be a strong finish for, for either one of us really and um, you know having been in the situation before um, with Wales um, hopefully we can gain that advantage you know we, we've uh, we've heard on the side of experience um, with regards to uh, some of the selections that we've made and hopefully we'll benefit from that tomorrow. I think always if you can if the boys are playing well enough consistency is obviously key consistency in selection and obviously performances and you know I think the boys deserve the right to play again tomorrow you know for the last two and a half games we've gone pretty well um, obviously the last two games were the two wins and second half against Ireland but uh, yeah I think that's what it's all about if we can keep with the same selections and as you said the experience you know of, of Sam and against Tips is a, <laughs> is a is a toss for coin if you like it's quite tough between them two and Alan Wynn obviously coming back in with the experience he's got and is a fantastic player so um, you know we're quite lucky in that regard but um, yeah I think that you know we just you know keep doing what we're doing uh, if we can keep playing like we can we've got a great chance tomorrow.